I have been tweaking my crystal radio and amplifier that I made. One transistor amplifier. I got some variable resistance in here right now just so I can find out what has the best performance and I can put a fixed value one in there later. This is the one I was using in that other video. And let's see, I got my little cap right there. That's all I need for that. And what I discovered is that I can operate this crystal radio with the speaker, don't need an earpiece, just off of my a one cell magnesium carbon fiber graphite cell I have in this jar. This is a two cell one I have over here. I have it just hooked up to LED. I've had these going for ages now. And we'll turn this on. So I get radio operation and speaker operation just off this little battery, homemade battery. The voltage drops down to about 1.2, even down to 1.1, because this isn't a very big cell. I didn't even finish wrapping the carbon fiber graphite rope around it because I just had a piece, so it's a little bit smaller than those over there. But as I was testing different things, I could disconnect the positive and touch it over here to another ground I have and get some operation off of the speaker just with these two grounds. And the reason that is, is that this in there a little bit. And the reason it is is that this ground right here is a magnesium ground I have just outside the window. It was an earth battery at one time but the carbon fiber positive electrode corroded up the wire and it wasn't working anymore. And this ground right here that I have that I'm using for these little LED lights. These are awesome scavenger antennas I have up with the other one. That was, I showed that in the other video. This ground right here is a ground I have driven down by the pond about 250, 300 feet down the hill. And it's just a copper clad ground driven in the ground with a wire laying across here. Some of it's buried, some of it isn't. And when I, why this is working now is because with that ground down by the pond and this magnesium rod, I'm making a little bit of our earth battery that's enough to power this. What I just did is I put a filter cap in between the two grounds, the little earth battery to get rid of some of that interference, a little bit of interference. But what I think is really interesting is like this magnesium ground now is has two currents going through it, a DC current to the other ground to power the little amplifier and speaker and the alternating current to operate the crystal radio. So it's got a dual purpose. <laughs> I'll be working on this a little bit more, I think. Try to get it a little bit better. Don't get many channels with this crystal radio, but it sure is fun to play with, and now I can get all the activity and power from the antennas in the ground. One other thing that I wanted to make a note of, I kind of discovered by accident, is that these other LEDs 
from these other two antennas I'm scavenging power off of and this ground is that this kind of accidentally discovered it. I have this up, four other LEDs here that are disconnected. I have, this is the positive right here. And I discovered if I just touch this wire over here to the antenna, they light up and it doesn't affect those other LEDs. I'm not quite sure why that's operating the way it is. But I now have more LEDs going and it's not affecting the radio either. So they're on now. And the radio and everything is on right now. <laughs> These are kind of harder to see, but they looks like they're just about as bright as these ones down here. Don't need the earpiece now. Power all the time, just from the ground rods. So I have a few fun things going on here. And I have a few more ideas that I'm going to work on yet, too, and I'll get back at a later time with them. But once again, thanks for your time. It's operating at 0.734 volts right now. And that's about the lowest I've seen it operating at. That's the voltage drop when I got my two grounds connected together. Hmm. That's what's coming off the crystal radio.